Here's the thing with girls, though, especially with fathers, and this one might hit you in the heart, and I've heard this from many experts. How you operate is how she's going to measure every single man that comes into her life. So by the way you love her mom, that's how she's going to measure how she's going to be treated from another man. Your daughter has one thing on her mind is, am I worthy of my dad's heart? Am I worthy of my dad's heart? That's like, it's such a core thing for her, right? Is, am I worthy of my dad's heart? And when we go to have conversations with our, with our daughters, whether it be about life, whether it be about them, whether it be about dating, whether it be about maybe something they did wrong, is I've heard this quote, always aim for the heart of your daughter. Because in the background, how she's operating is like, I just want to make my dad proud. And even, if, even if she's in those teenage years where she's not talking to you, right? Or she's distant or she's doing this or she's dramatic. At the core of how she's operating is, am I worthy of my dad's heart? Let's say you're going to go into a conversation with your daughter and she's messing up. She's messing up at school, whatever. You're saying start that conversation with like, listen, I love you no matter what. Like start with that you are worthy and then go into the product. I mean, you still have to address issues, right? Yeah. One of the things that you can do, and, and this is a great, whether you have a boy or a girl, and I would say more so even for a girl. So there's, um, there's an organization called clear leadership. They can be found at clearleadership.com. Um, it's not our skill set, However, we have learned it and I utilize this a lot, whether you're raising a boy or a girl, this is, this is really important. Uh, when you, whenever you go to have what, what could be a very triggering conversation where it could maybe decimate, you know, your kid or your daughter or whatever else, there's this skill set called the cube that you can use. And the cube is a four step process to have an otherwise triggered conversation. It starts with observations, thoughts, feelings, wants. So I, I'll give you an example of what this looks like, right? And I'll give you an example of how I did this really poorly and how I did it really, really well. My 14 year old, he's one of those kids that is kind of um, messy and he leaves his trash and his dishes and popcorn bags and everything else. It just drives me crazy. And normally I'm pretty calm. I use that skill set called the cube, but I went in one day and I just was having a bad day. And I was like, dude, I was like, what is all this stuff all over the floor? I was like, look at this. I was like, yeah, bowls over here. You got empty Gatorade bottle over here. You got your popcorn bag over here. You got your trash here. Like, who do you think is going to clean this up, man? This is so disrespectful. Like, this is incredibly disrespectful. This pisses me off when you do this because the message that you're sending to everyone is, I am not going to clean up after myself and someone else is going to do this for me. And I don't appreciate that. I'm like yelling at him. And he just kind of sat there and took it. And, and he basically said, you don't have to yell at me. If you just ask me to pick it up, I'll do it. And of course the ego jumped in and I was like, well, if I had, if you just did it, I wouldn't have to ask. And I'm like yelling and he's like, yeah, but you still don't have to yell at me. Now that's, a, that's the normal way we go to reprimand our kids, right? Using the cube, you start with an observation. Hey, I noticed that there's some popcorn bags on the floor and I noticed there's a bowl and some dishes and that kind of thing. That's observations. We both can see that. Thoughts. Thoughts are a sentence. Feelings are a, are a word. The story that I'm telling myself is maybe you forgot. Also, another thought that I have is uh, maybe you think that other people are going to come in behind you and clean this up so you don't have to do it. And when I have those thoughts, as we get to feelings, number three, when I have those thoughts, I feel a little frustrated and I feel a bit disrespected. And then when you get to the wants, because what I truly want is for all of us to pick up after ourselves so we can have a cleaner environment and everyone takes full ownership of their own mess. Now you can see the difference between how we go barreling in and it could be a daughter with a lot of energy and where they could be like, oh my God, like dad, dad's freaking out on me. He doesn't like me or he doesn't love me or whatever. But when we use something like the cube, like that, that four-step process, that conversation becomes way less triggered 